Hello there and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Thank you for stopping by. Today on the channel, we will be talking about the water vole, much loved water ratty, which is one of our native creatures that are on the verge of extinction. This video will cover its history, features, traits, and every other detail. So watch to the end so you will not miss out on anything. While you're at it, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. Let's quickly take you through all the details on our beautiful brown water ratty, as they're fondly called. A Brief History In 1900, there were about 8 million water voles in existence. They were familiar and could be heard or seen in nearly every slow-flowing stream in the British Isles, from the furthest reaches of Scotland to the point of Cornwall. Although they were not found on the Isle of Man, Ireland, or the Scottish Islands, they were present in the Isle of Wight and Anglesey. Unfortunately, water voles did not benefit from their short-lived fame. During World War I, humanity cleared bankside vegetation for crops and allowed animals to trample on their banks and dwellings. Then, during World War II, agricultural intensification for food production began, resulting in habitat loss, fragmentation, and additional deterioration. Their demise was accelerated when American mink escaped from fur farms established in the UK in the 1920s to meet the demand for mink coats. By the 1970s, there were 800 mink farms in the United Kingdom. When animal rights activists freed numerous mink from fur farms in the 1980s and 1990s, their numbers in the wild skyrocketed. Some farms had up to 5,000 mink, and some of them escaped. A breeding female mink is tiny enough to penetrate water vole tunnels and can eradicate a water vole colony in a single breeding season. Non-native animals, such as the American mink, are frequently devastating for finely calibrated ecosystems that have developed over time. In contrast to the 1950s, catching sight of a beautiful water vole and hearing its instantly recognized plop as it dove was still a frequent occurrence. They vanished from 90% of their previous range by the 1990s. Water voles were declared extinct in Devon and Cornwall in 2002. Today, the possibility of an encounter is remote since they are nationally uncommon, with just 100,000 believed to exist in the United Kingdom. Features Water voles have glossy brown or black hair on their bodies and a blunt snout with tiny black eyes. Their ears are rounded and virtually concealed, while their tail is black and slightly hairy. The head and body of a grown water vole measure between 12 to 20 centimeters, and the tail is about half the body length. During the day, they're primarily active, sitting on their hind feet and eating on grass stalks held in their front paws. When they're startled, they plunge into the water with a distinctive plop sound. Their hands and backs are visible as they swim. They have a light body weight of 300 grams and only a few water voles can survive two winter seasons. From March to October, females have two to five litters of two to eight young ones each year. Young leave their mother after 28 days, and those born in July may breed the following fall, while the majority achieve sexual maturity after their first winter. To survive the winter, juvenile water voles must weigh at least 170 grams. They don't hibernate during the winter, but instead spend more time inside their burrows, frequently cohabiting with other colony members, and are less apparent above ground. Water voles thrive in more grassy banks of slow-moving rivers, ditches, streams, lakes, ponds, canals, marshes, and upland areas. Water voles dwell in colonies that string out along a river. Males have more comprehensive home ranges of 60 to 300 meters that span many females, 
whereas breeding females maintain territories of 30 to 150 meters and aggressively defend them. Females designate their habitat with separate latrine sites near burrows and along borders. They excavate burrows in steep, grassy banks, which frequently have aquatic entrances. In the spring and summer, water voles feed on grasses, sedges, rushes, water plants, reeds, and wetland plants, and in the fall and winter they eat bulbs, rhizomes, bark, and roots. They consumed invertebrates and insects on rare occasions. Fun Facts Every day, water voles must consume 80% of their body weight. In the United Kingdom, water voles consume over 227 plant species. Water vole droppings are not scented. Instead, to smell their territory, they rub their hind feet on the scented glands on their chest before stamping on their droppings, resulting in trampled latrines. Despite its name, water voles seldom dwell near water in continental Europe preferring to burrow underground like a mole. Outside of the UK, they can reach concentrations of 200 to 500 per acre, becoming an agricultural pest in some cases. Scottish water voles are genetically distinct from their English and Welsh counterparts. Water voles in the ecosystem. According to research, rivers with more diverse plant communities contain more water voles. A greater quantity of water voles indicates more extensive burrowing networks which dry up the surrounding soil below ground. This has the advantage of changing the biological characteristics of the earth. The longer a water vole colony lives in a river, the more burrowing disturbance resulting in an even wider variety of plant communities. A river devoid of water voles is often a monotonous monoculture with no biodiversity. Water voles play an essential role in ecosystem engineering. These tiny beavers are continually micro-engineering rivers to benefit both animals and humans. Beauty generating beauty. Many species benefit from these continuous gardeners including insects, honeybees, butterflies, solitary bees, insect-eating birds, bats, and bumblebees. Their importance to biodiversity is enormous. Legal Protection Well, the good news is, water voles received complete legal protection in England and Wales on April 6, 2008, thanks to provisions in Section 9 of Schedule 5 of the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. Under Schedule 5 of this Act, it is an offense to knowingly or carelessly demolish, damage, or restrict access to any structure or location that a water vole utilizes for refuge or protection. According to the Wildlife and Countryside Law of 1981, it is also illegal to kill, disrupt, or damage a water vole or handle a water vole without a permit. Disturbing or injuring a water vole, destroying or obstructing water vole burrows, or destroying or blocking water vole burrows may result in prosecution. The severest punishment for an offense is £5,000 in fines. Management The beauty of maintaining a water vole habitat is that they assist in controlling it while also promoting biodiversity. The banks and emergent vegetation require minimum maintenance. They rely on us not cutting their banks to a ground level between March and September. Removing native plants by gardening the banks and leaving bare dirt removes their food and cover, making them easy prey for their many predators. It is preferable to manage habitat by chopping alternate sides of the bank or simply one side. Your neighborly assistance will allow them to survive since they have plummeted by 95% across the UK, owing in part to fragmentation, habitat loss, and predation by the non-native American mink. Female minks are tiny enough to fit inside their caves. 
try to preserve the existence of water voles in your area. Help them stay alive with good body weight. Ensure that each side of a river has at least 5 meters of uncut bankside vegetation to protect it from disruption. Suppose the human disturbance is significant and the root is less than 5 meters from the edge of a stream. In that case, the best preventative is to construct a barrier so that water voles may eat without being continually disturbed and dog walkers can stroll on the other side. It also keeps their burrows from collapsing due to trampling. What are your thoughts about preserving the existence of our beautiful brown water ratty? Have you noticed any water vole around where you live? Let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching this video, click on the like button. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you can be notified whenever we post an exciting pet video. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.